I'd like to do a quick demonstration of this uh, device that was built back in 1915, just a couple of years after the Titanic sank. And what it is, is a Leeds and Northrop Type S Wheatstone Bridge testing device. And uh, this was developed as a way of uh, performing very precise measurements of resistance using a device called, or a principle called the Wheatstone Bridge, which was um, invented as a way uh, of using known resistances as a, um, as a means of determining an unknown resistance. I'm not going to talk a lot about the specifics about how, how that device actually works. You can look that up and there's some very good YouTube videos about it. But I am going to demonstrate how this particular device uh, can be used um, and again, it's about, and, about 110 years old, and uh, it uh, actually gives a accuracy reading very comparable to modern digital multimeters. And I'd like to demonstrate that. So what I have here is a um, a, uh, a set of Radio Shack uh, resistors, 5.6 kilo ohm, uh, kilo ohm resistors, or 5600 ohms. And I'd like to uh, demonstrate how this can be used to measure that resistance. So we're going to take one of the resistors out of that package. And I'm going to mount it onto the test terminals in the lower right portion of the device. And um, we'll tighten those down. And we're going to set the, the multiplier, which is this knob here, at 1. So uh, the readings that we get, we multiply by a single ohm. So essentially, we can read the dials directly to get the, uh, the resistance readings. Uh, the four knobs here give four digits of precision on the measurement. This is the thousands uh, digit. This is the hundreds. This is the tens. And this is the ones. The way this works is you take a trial reading on the thousands digit. <clears throat> Excuse me. You depress the two buttons here and read the uh, the meter, which you see deflecting all the way to the right. If this deflects to the right, uh, that indicates you need to add additional resistance into the circuit. And the objective is to set all four of the dials such that when you press the two buttons down, you get no deflection at all on the on the meter. It, it reads zero. So we're going to, we can see here it reads well into the positive, so we need to add additional resistance. We know it's 5600 ohms, so I'm going to start it at about 4000 ohms. And it's still pegging. Uh, now there, if I go to somewhere between 5 and 6, we can see that it's shifting signs. So we're going to leave it at at 5 and then we'll start turning the hundreds digit and uh, I would expect somewhere around the 6 <clears throat> you'd expect to see it there we can see it starting to move toward the center the 500 is just about 0 if we go past it we see we're in the negative region so we're going to go to the point where we need to add resistance and uh, we're going to make that 50 um, 5500 now, let's actually make it 54, see if we can adjust that down to zero with the, uh, the tens and the ones digit. So we'll slowly add resistance in tens of ohms. You can see we're getting down pretty close, and that is 50... 5900 and we're still just slightly to the right of the um, of the um, of the null position we'll add single ohm and I'm going to say the nine is probably about the best so reading this it's uh, the, the the ohms reading is five four nine nine or 5.499 and the actual uh, nominal value is 5600 so we're going to compare that to the uh, to a digital 
meter reading here. Again, we have 5499. So I'll move this out of the way. And we'll use this old fluke meter, which is not the most accurate, uh, accurate device, but it's probably good enough for our purposes here. So um, I've got it set for resistance, and uh, we're going to take the resistor out of the terminals on the bridge. And uh, connecting the, just holding the leads here. We see we are at 549, and uh, we actually have an extra digit of precision off of the uh, Leeds and Northrop device, the Wheatstone Bridge. So that agrees almost exactly, in fact, exactly with what the reading we got off of the, uh, off of the Wheatstone Bridge, which was 5.499, and we have 5.49 here. So there we have a 110-year-old uh, device essentially providing better performance than we get from the um, from a uh, fairly contemporary Fluke uh, 77 multimeter.